Hello everybody, welcome to Making Games with Ruby, Episode 1, Introduction. I'm Tyler, and as always, these videos are brought to you by ManWithCode.com. Alright, so in this episode, I'm going to be talking to you about what you will learn in this series, what we're using to teach you, what I'm assuming about you, and why I'm teaching this. Alright, so first off, what you'll learn. Uh, if you couldn't tell by the title, you'll be learning how to make games using the Ruby programming language. Uh, more specifically, I'm going to be teaching you how to make the game Pong. Now, you might be thinking, Pong. Pong is a bit simplistic, how am I going to learn anything from that? Trust me, you can learn a lot from Pong. Just learning Pong allows us to teach you, you know, the basics that will be the same for almost every single game you make without getting bogged down in all the tiny, tiny details of, uh, you know, individual games. All right. So what we're going to be using, we're going to be using the Ruby programming language, obviously, and to create these games, we're going to be using a library called Ruby Game. Uh, and Ruby Game is many, many things. Uh, mostly it's a wrapper around SDL and a really, really nice framework to uh, develop games in. So if you want to know some specifics about my environment, I'm going to be using Ruby 1.8.7, patch level 174, and Ruby Game 2.6.2. Uh, theoretically, any version numbers pretty close to that should work fine. Uh, they might not, though, so please keep that in mind if something doesn't work. Uh, definitely if Ruby game not, uh, goes up to 3.0 anytime soon, 3.0 probably is not going to be compatible with this. Um, so. so I'm also running Ubuntu 9.10 as my operating system and for the most part I'm going to be using gedit as my text editor. You can write code and run the games on almost any platform you want, but that's what I prefer. Alright, so what I'm assuming about you. Pretty much first and foremost, I'm assuming you're familiar with Ruby. If you're not, well, you're screwed, because I'm not going to go through and explain every single language idiom or anything. Uh, you're kind of on your own. If you want to learn more, or if you want to learn Ruby because you haven't yet, I have a, I think they're pretty great. <laughs> um, my video tutorials on Ruby at manwithcode.com slash Ruby programming tutorials, uh, or you can find them on my YouTube channel, and there will be a link in the video description if you're not already there or if you can't find it, and uh, so yeah, check those out, or if you have a book or something, that'll work too. Uh, I do have one more thing to add to that, if you if you just finished the tutorials, or you just finished your book, or you just finished whatever, but you haven't done a lot of coding on your own, I would recommend you do that. I want you familiar and comfortable with Ruby before you get started, I don't, uh, or else some of this could go way over your head, and that's not what I want. Alright. So why am I teaching this? Okay, so first off, I love making games, and I kind of want to share that love with the world. I don't, I hope you'll share it with me. I don't know if you will. Uh, <laughs> I also love teaching. I love seeing people learn. I love people using what, what I've taught them and making great stuff. It's really cool to see that. So if you make something cool, uh, feel free to shoot me an email or leave a comment on one of the videos and say, hey, I made this cool thing. Could you, do you want to check it out? And I would love to. All right, uh, now teaching me also teaches me something, or teaching you teaches me something, which is pretty cool, because I have to think about what I do and why I do stuff, and occasionally I find things I can improve improve upon and uh, make better, or things I'm doing horrendously wrong that I never noticed before, uh, and yeah, it's a great way to reflect. All right, and fourth, I'm not going to hide this, I'm trying to make money. All right, the first few videos in the series will be free, uh, at some point, I don't know when, I will start charging for every video made after a certain point. It'll only be like five, ten bucks I, uh, for each video. I promise you it'll be worth it to to buy those. So I'd appreciate it if you'd help me out and or, and help yourself out and buy those videos. All right. So that's pretty much all that I'm going to talk about in today's episode. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, if you want to say hi, if you want to say loved your tutorials if you want to say hey I don't understand line 8 on you know code X whatever <laughs> or whatever you need to contact me for leave a comment on this page or email me at tyler at manwithcode.com thank you very very much for watching goodbye